Oh no, yeah, I have a little pouch that I put on my side. Mm, rabbit the thing with dealing with these is that you do have to um, learn how to deal with their food. So I literally have learned how to butcher a rabbit. <laughs> Feel the thrust off the wings when she flies by you. she can hunt and would be able to find food. Uh, she knows people have food also and she would definitely join you on your chicken picnic dinner on the picnic table, so we try to take it from you. Um, she gave my husband a pretty good scratch on his face. He sat down while I was sitting on the couch with her. He sat down beside me with a plate of spaghetti and she thought it was for her. <laughs> she decided he, she was going to try to take it. So. Um, you know, that again is why we don't rec really recommend them as pets. Um, she and I have a very special bond, but like if I had my red tail here, she wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do this with her. She's, she's still very, very wild, and she really doesn't like being around people. So this species is really more dog-like. Um, they are a very unique species. They're a sub which is a, which is your genus. and. Um, so there are subspecies of the Boudier, and uh, they actually live in family groups of about 25 birds, which your normal hawks and eagles and owls live in pairs or as a single and only come together at mating season. These guys will have a, a, a matriarch female, and then she will have around four or five males underneath her, which are her mating partners, so they, she will, they're not monogamous. Um, and then she will have juveniles and like brothers or sisters that are in her family group that will help take care of the young while the others go out of the group go out and hunt together. And this, she doesn't weigh two pounds. She was 29 ounces today, um, which is about 850 on grams. And then they'll take down a 25 pound jackrabbit in the wild, but they work together like a wolf pack. So they have a very dog-like social mentality, unlike some of, a lot of the other hawks and owls and stuff. So that's what makes them a really fun species to have as a falconry bird. Because, again, they're very trainable. So, anybody else want So whether it's just me or a group of people <laughs> together, um, Or rats or something. 
and then she will fly down and get it. Now with the big rats, the wood rats, they actually live in huge wooden nests that they make that are about this tall off the ground or sometimes are in trees. And so what we'll do is we'll go poke in the nests and run the rat out. And she has learned to actually even sit on the nest because that makes her closer and wait for it to come out. And then she'll get to have it. So, she, you know, they do learn to work with us. I'm her partner in the field, she's not mine. Um, and I joke, you know, kind of joke, she, I, I belong to her. I'm her servant. She will tell me what she doesn't like and what she does like. So, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, they do have a personality, and they're all a little different like anything else. So, yeah. We have another uh, similar Harris hawk in our group that I work with that's 17 years old and is very, very gentle. Nothing makes her mad. makes her mad, she's real easy going, well, this, where this bird, if something, she decides to have a bad day, then you might as well just leave her alone, because she's going to tell you about this. So, <laughs> but she's a pretty good kid. I was telling them, with, like, with the reptiles, they do uh, have the sexual dimorphism, where the females are bigger than the males. <laughs> Y'all want to come up and touch her and feel her talons, feel her feet. They're like a lizard.